The Patriots' new place kicker, Mike Nugent, completely decoded. It is Steven Goskowski that is going to land on season IR because of hip surgery. Mike Nugent replacing Steven Goskowski is sort of interesting when you break down the fact that he is an Ohio native. Ohio might have been where football began. Ohio is also where the Hall of Fame is located at. This is the 100th edition of the NFL season, after all. He was born in the year 82, after all. His field goal percentage is 81. I expect this to increase a little bit more to over 81.5% to round up to 82 because for the man born in the year 82, I think he is going to be one of the most influential players of the Super Bowl. I think he'll probably end up missing a game-winning field goal in the Super Bowl. And I can probably break that down in, in another video. In fact, I'll probably break it down in this video. It's because Saints has Demetri of 82. But the original plan was always Patriots against the Saints. Because kicker Steven Goskowski was a Louisiana native. He was born over at Baton Rouge, Louisiana. Baton Rouge is the capital of Louisiana. Nonetheless, he is from the state of Louisiana. And I believe that very well the original script of the Super Bowl was to have the Louisiana native miss the game winning field goal. After all, we can pinpoint to Super Bowl 44 where... Uh, Peyton Manning, uh, born over at New Orleans, uh, son of the Hall of Fame quarterback of the New Orleans Saints, Archie Manning, threw the Super Bowl with a very scripted and very un-Peyton Manning-like pick six to Tracy Porter in that Super Bowl. So we have Mike Nugent replacing Steven Goskowski. I believe you're going to see a missed field goal as time expires. This is sort of like Antonio Brown being released, right? Did the Patriots need Antonio Brown? Did 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 they need Steven Goskowski out there? Would he have beaten the Saints? So I think these are the surrounding riddles with what we could expect for this upcoming Super Bowl. In Gematria, the Kabbalah Code of Lettering wards and letters into numbers. Here's why Goskowski was the Patriots kicker in the first place, winning many Super Bowls with him. He, he won three Super Bowls with the Patriots. He played in two other ones, to the Eagles and the Giants. He played against the Patriots in 2008 because he got drafted in 2006 too. So he has a... 3-2 and two record in the Super Bowl as of today. It is Goskowski. It is Super Bowl that equals 41. The Super Bowl is going to be played on the 33rd day of the year. Goskowski played over at Glendale before. It's Steven that equals 33. It's Glendale that equals 33. He's playing in the state of Massachusetts. Equals 33. The Super Bowl is going to be on the 33rd day of the year this year. Take a look at Steven Stumatria of 87 in his field goal percentage. Steven Goskowski is at just over 87% for his field goal percentage in his career. It coincides with his name. It very well may be scripted or it's just fate in action as it is right now. This is a Kabbalah organic code of fate in this universe. And you take a look at what the lettering of uh, letters into numbers represents uh, to the people that run the NFL, which is Freemasonic uh, Jesuit owners. Stephen Goskowski, Masonic, occult equals 74. It's 74 is the God number in Gematria because G dash D, the way how the Hebrews write it, the seventh letter, and the fourth letter. It is Nugent that has Dematri of 81. I want you to take a look at Mike Nugent's field goal percentage. 81%. His simple Dematria is 81. For kicker, Mike Nugent. 
It's Nugent that equals 27. It's Miami that equals 27. This is why he is the Patriots' new place kicker. It is Mike that has Dimaccio of 38 and 20. The Super Bowl is going to be played in the year 20. It is Florida that has Dimaccio of 38 as well. When we talk about Stephen Goskowski's uh, season-ending IR injury, it's hit that equals 33. The Super Bowl is going to be played on the 33rd day of the year. It's hip injury. It's a Super Bowl that's going to be played over at the stadium of the Dolphins. The Dolphins equals 130 and 58. It's hip surgery that has to match 65. It's Florida that equals 85. We have this kicker replacing the Baton Rouge, Louisiana native. Now I believe we may very well see a missed field goal with under a minute left for this Super Bowl this year. The amount of time from October the 3rd, today's date, that the Patriots signed Mike Nugent to the day of the Super Bowl is a time span of 123 days. When we talk about 123 this year, it has everything to do with the city of Miami. city of Miami has to march of 123. The birthdays. 28th day of the year of January. Five days from that time would be the day of the Super Bowl. It's not six there. And Mike Nugent's birthday is the third day of the second month. So I mean, how, how much time is there from the Super Bowl to his birthday? This is going to be a leap year as well. And, and, and his birthday being on the nth day of the year is going to represent something else as well. So let's do that part first. The time duration from the second day of February to his birthday. Time span of 29 days. Four weeks in a day. Keep in mind that it's Super Bowl. That equals 41 as well. So that has quite a bit of meaning. It has everything to do with the Patriots playing in the Super Bowl. Now... March the 2nd, what day of the year is going to be March the 2nd in a leap year? Because 2020 is a leap year. 62nd day in the leap year. The prior Super Bowl in 2019 was played at Georgia. It is Belichick that is naming him to be the kicker. And now... We could save the next part, the missed field goal in the Super Bowl for Mike Nugent, in another video. But this is Mike Nugent replacing Stephen Goskowski, completely decoded by the numbers. Nugent replacing the Louisiana native. A lot to do with what will occur in this upcoming Super Bowl.